Hi everyone, here we are with 3D Mark, which is a benchmarking tool that has always been really popular in the PC industry, and it's now been released for Android devices. So let's have a look first, let's run the extreme test. Uh, you know, might as well. Uh, this is the Galaxy Note 2. Ooh, let's turn it around. So what this will do is basically stress the device by throwing all sorts of eye candy uh, in 3D. Um, so effectively simulating what a game might look like uh, on this device. At the end, it will give us a score and also break down the various tests it's done and how those have performed. Oh, that's very homeworldy. Currently getting around 18 frames a second there. Boy, is that pretty. One of the main things to remember about Future Mark uh, technology with 3D Mark is that it's always kind of pushing at the absolute boundaries of what devices are capable of. Um, traditionally, whenever they've released uh, their new benchmarking tool on the uh, PC, very few computers can actually run it um, at you know 60 frames a second and see everything and all the eye candy in full detail. Um, the idea is to kind of say, well, no, this is the benchmark for the following year or two years worth of uh, computer hardware. And I think the same thing's really being done here. What we should find is when we run this again on the Galaxy S4 in a couple of weeks' time, that the Galaxy S4 does much, much better. Uh, at least that's what I hope, anyway. Damn, I want to play this game, even though it's just a benchmark. They need to make this game. <laughs> Let's hope they do. It looks awesome. We'll be running this benchmark again on uh, some of our other devices, the Galaxy S3 and the uh, Tegra 3 equipped Nexus 7 from uh, Asus and Google. It'll be very interesting to compare the different hardware um, against uh, their frame rates as well. And I think you know we'll test them all on the highest detail settings. You know I think that's the really the fair way to do it, um, rather than uh, potentially having one getting a, a bit of an advantage from the uh, lower resolution textures and higher bandwidth available. So. See the next test moving on. What's it got for us this time? Uh, drop down to around uh, 8 and 10 frames a second now. Obviously these benchmarks take a fair old while to run through. It's very pretty. Thirty odd frames a second there. OK, 
Okay, and we have a score. 2907, and the uh, that is on the highest setting. So, can you do better on your Galaxy Note 2? We've got here... So, apparently the Galaxy S3 T999 does post a slightly higher score. Very interesting. So, this particular ROM that I'm using, which is uh, liquid, I think, liquid, liquid smooth, is posting slightly faster scores than the stock ROM, as it were, which you can just see there. So, overall, those are the numbers. Please post your results in the uh, comments now. The app is free to download. Um, interesting. We'll benchmark a few more devices, probably try a few different ROMs as well and some tweaks and just see how fast we can make, uh, or how high, should I say, a result we can get. Excellent. Yeah.